Welcome back. We're still watching the game. We're still joined by the Gilas Pilipinas women, Camille Clarin, Jack Animam, Vanessa De Jesus, and of course, head coach Pat Aquino. And now we're looking forward to tomorrow. It's tomorrow, right? Yes. June 30. Coach Pat, uh, your thoughts on tomorrow, the preparations for tomorrow? Because as they say, job's not done. We're coming from a huge historic win. But we can get greedy, right? That, that's what we're, we're doing right now, Coach <laughs> Pat, right? <laughs> Definitely, uh, I know. I, I know. I, we we won the first game, uh, and Shempre and Dita have stopped. Then we need to. I think this is just the the spark of something bigger. You know, we might make news again tomorrow. So we're just uh, really preparing hard. I hope that you know we get rested well. Uh, some of the kids already been having colds and cough, mm. but you know, but still, uh, they they really wanted to play more, and they really wanted to compete. So. Hopefully we can uh, show everybody that, you know, uh, it's not just a fluke game. We're going to do it one more time. Uh, Vanessa, it feels like the team's on an upward trend. Like you mentioned a while ago, every game, it's been an improvement in terms of how the team performed. Uh, how are you girls feeling as a unit going into that game against New Zealand? Uh, fresh off a win and an, and an emotional high as well. Yeah, I think, you know, we're excited again to get out there. We know what it feels like to win. So, obviously, we're going to come out there with the intention to, you know, give our best and hopefully get another win. So, I think we're all just ready to finally play New Zealand and just, you know, again, represent um, the Filipino culture. Hey, CC, I got a two-part question. First, what, what uh, would the New Zealand challenge be specifically for you guys? And also, I'm wondering, you were used to playing three straight games in three straight days. I'm sure you welcome the rest a little bit, but is that uh, a little bit of a concern that you have uh, a break or do you welcome it? Um, well, first, the challenge I think that we have is that um, New Zealand is almost built the same and like the height wise is the same as Australia, so it would definitely be um, our height would definitely be an issue, but I mean, that's never stopped us before. It's a good challenge to jump ahead. We've already faced Australia, so we know what to expect, and um, a lot of us have gone up in the international play against some of these players so we've matched up with them before and we're excited to see what we can do against them and I think the rest is definitely beneficial for us especially because this weather has not been very nice to us um, a lot of us have, have gotten sick so I think the rest is as much as we could hope for and hopefully those people feel better coming into this game and are just ready to give it their all are being tropical shows I guess when it comes to the temperature uh, Jack of course, that last game against Chinese Taipei was your best performance, uh, both on on the box score and as well in terms of impact. Mo, uh, does that give you more confidence going into the next one, knowing that uh, we all know that you're coming, you're coming from a, a lo an injury layoff for a while, trying to get your groove, your rhythm. Mo, is the rhythm there? Do you feel even more ready right now going to New Zealand after what you did to Chinese Taipei? I think I am. She's back. <laughs> I think I am. She's back, and I'm. I'm just really more like confident, especially because the trust of my teammates and the coaches has been giving me. You know, I'm just repaying it, and you know, the all out, the the whatever it takes mentality. Sabi ko nga coming to that game against Chinese Taipei, bago ko matulog. Sabi ko bukas, I'm gonna give it my all. It's gonna be my biggest game of my life. Pag hindi Goodbye, na <laughs> Just to be aggressive, do the things that you know I'm used to do, and and chaka din grabe kasi mas I think we were more patient moving that ball well, uh, the con the distribution of the ball, and that's why everything just clicked. That's why I think even when the Chinese Taipei had their run, they're coming back, but. I think we're more like we don't we didn't panic. I didn't even feel like we we panic. We chop it like okay, let's take it one stop at a time, make baskets, and just go back on defense and just play up. And that's it. Sixteen we're, we're, and fifteen. Yeah, not bad. And, uh, and a lot of uh, drops uh, as we pinagusapan natin, Jack. You dropped that uh, Chinese Taipei into submission. Uh, yesterday congratulations again and uh, of course uh, tomorrow is the big day we're all supporting you and congratulations and we thank you for your time for being on the show today coach pat jack vanessa cc uh, maraming maraming salamat mabuhay and uh, good luck uh, tomorrow